And of course, there's a, there's a cost of living crisis. And yet the government is suspended, it's crashed. No other democracy on the planet would accept that uh, whatsoever. People in the South don't realise there's a massive crisis at the moment with regards to the Good Friday Agreement. The Good Friday Agreement has been gutted. Uh, the executive, which is the government in the north of Ireland, whose job it is to fix the social and economic crisis that are affecting people, that hasn't been operating for months. And remember, right now in the north, there's 44,000 people on waiting lists for homes. There's 260,000 people on waiting lists for hospitals more than a year. That's one in seven people who are actually on hospital waiting lists. There's 300,000 people currently in poverty in the north. There's children going to bed in the north without enough food, going hungry in the north. And of course, there's a, there's a cost of living crisis. And yet the government is suspended, it's crashed. No other democracy on the planet would accept that uh, whatsoever. And here we have today, we have the, the, the Secretary for the North of Ireland coming out and saying that the Irish Language Act will not be implemented. And the Irish Language Act has been talked about for 15 years at this stage. Indeed, in 2020, the Sinn Féin decided to, to come back after crashing the, um, the executive at that stage because they were promised by the government in, in Britain an Irish language act and it never materialised through bad faith on the British government's part and also naivety uh, on Sinn Féin's part. So what we're doing in AIM2 is we're calling for the MLAs to have their salaries stopped until they go back to work. Secondly, we're calling for reform of the Good Friday Agreement to make sure that it has a future, because right now it doesn't have a future. There needs to be a change to the institutions to make sure that one political party can't crash it. The DUP have 8% of the vote of the island of Ireland, and yet 85% of the population of the island of Ireland voted for the Good Friday Agreements. In what other democracy would a violation of the democratic will of the people be, uh, be, be accepted such as this? It is absolutely shocking. Um, for the benefit of people in the Republic who might not be too familiar with the Irish Language Act, could you give a brief uh, explanation of what it is and what it entails? Yeah, the Irish Language Act is a, a, an act that gives parity of esteem to the Irish language with the English language in the north of Ireland. So you have many families currently who are trying to raise their children in the Irish language. If, if, if we want the Irish language to have a future, we need families to be raised in it. And if we want those families to, to be able to have the ability to speak it with the state. So in the south, for example, you know, people learn Irish when they talk to the government in, in terms of tax or in terms of health or in terms of education, they usually have an opportunity to do so as uh, In the north of Ireland, that doesn't exist. And actually, the Irish language is banned in courts in the north of Ireland. A law that exists from the 1700s is still in place uh, in the north of Ireland. So it simply gives Irish speakers an opportunity to speak Irish with the state um, and it creates an Irish language commissioner to ensure that that right is being implemented. It's been something that's very, very important to nationalists and republicans. Uh, for many years, Sinn Féin have promised to deliver upon it. It still isn't in existence. And we're calling on the Irish government to get real in terms of the Irish Language Act and protecting the Good Friday Agreement. We don't have too many cards to play. But what we have is the leverage of the White House and the government needs to be using that leverage far more in terms of this. The Irish government have this instinct of, as a laissez-faire instinct. It's an instinct to sit in their hands. It's a reluctance to get involved in terms of, of trying to fix the situation. And we're talking about the, gov the government to start to really engage.